Um, I was able to turn that into uh, a home, a lot of Omi, a car. So it was, it was, wow. it was, it was a nice deal. What is up, you guys? Today, we're talking about the biggest private NFT transaction in VV history. This is insane. Over 2,000 collectibles were involved, and this is a section from my latest interview with Grubba B OG, where he revealed how he sold his whole collection to an undisclosed buyer. And this is the biggest private deal in VV history. It's insane. His story blew my mind. When I looked at the analytics of my that particular video, everybody rewatched it because people love it so much. So I decided to cut it out and bring it to you again in case you missed it last time. I bet you'll love it. And if you do, give this video a like and hit the subscribe button below. Let's get to it. I know that you sold several sub, probably sub 100, yeah, sub 100 uh, results for a an undisclosed buyer. Mm -hmm. So everything has a price. Yeah. So what was the offer that that made you want it to sell? Uh, the offer was in crypto. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I appreciated that. Um, it, I don't think you can do it anymore. Because, mm -hmm. you know, obviously you can't transfer collectibles. Um, but it was a decision that I made this past January. And in that decision, uh, I sold that whole account because I had two accounts um, to that same undisclosed person. And so that included those mints that you're speaking of. What was your feeling when you had to let those very, very special collectibles go? It hurt a lot. Um, it was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, right? Going into that. I, you know, in the beginning, I'd been scammed even. You know, you think you're working with the right escrow, and then you learn, oh, my God, people are, are impersonating these escrow guys in Telegram. Um, but if it was hard, but it felt good. Um, I was able to turn that into some more collectibles, uh, which I'm still, you know, stacking today, which is how I got back to about 3,000. Um, uh, a home, a lot of Omi, a car. So it was, it was, wow. it was, it was a nice deal. Oh my and I God. still, I still respect that person tremendously. That's insane. So that kind of deal, um, so there was probably a lot more than just, as far as I know, four results, right? Correct. It was, it was, it was the whole account. It was, wow. uh, I believe about 2,500 collectibles. The whole account? The whole account. Yeah. 2,500 collectibles. Yeah, in one deal. A, and I think at that point there were some comics like MC1s and AS1s and stuff like that. Oh my God. Yeah. Was that back in the January bull run? That was in January, yes. Wow. Yeah, and I, I, I will I will say this, you know, I'm a DCA, you know, dollar cost average person. I've never sold the top of anything, and that was my first time. <laughs> the perfect time to sell. Yes. Wow. So that's probably like I would say the biggest VV transaction. Uh like probably the biggest single VV transaction. Yes, I would. I would assume so. So, did you have unconfirmed? To <laughs> unconfirmed. Yes, I would say so. Like, uh, yeah, that's definitely the. To, so, did you have multiple escrows? Or what was that? What was that uh, process like? Because that's huge. It was between me and another OG, and another OG ran the escrow. So it was three people that knew each other very well, and made the transit transaction very simple. You know, some one one person the escrow went through, verified everything was in the account. They got paid probably the most out of any escrow ever. Appreciated that, and uh, it was a very tedious job. I mean, the app is you know, worlds ahead now of what it used to be. Now you now you have a, a web app. You know, this was all done mm -hmm. on the phone, and um, yeah, the transaction went very smoothly. And like I said, I'm still friends with the person, and I respect them tremendously. And, you know, I wish them all the best in VV and I'm here with them still. So 
Let, let's ride the top again. So did you have to get started from zero again or? I kept, your I, I kept another account. I had, I had a okay. second account. It's my only account now. Back mm -hmm. when VV first opened, you had multiple accounts. It was okay. Um, so I'd say I, I probably kept about 20% of the stuff. Okay. And did you have, so that's that whole selling process. Did you have to send the collectibles like in batches of 300 and stuff? Or it was just like, no, a whole it was, li it was literally changing the account, giving it over to that person. They changed, you know, they, they worked with VV to change the email address, um, in the account and they took over. So how long did it take from, so was that an, an offer? So like that undisclosed buyer mm -hmm. wanted to buy your whole account. Mm -hmm. So he or she reached out to you saying, Hey, I'm interested. Let's do this deal. Or was there like, was there like a whole, or did you offer to sell that account to that person? I don't remember how it all started. All, all I know is that, um, the conversation came up in a chat somehow and it took about a month to get to the deal. And once we hit the deal, it was done. <laughs> wow. Subscribe now so that you don't miss out on the actionable and valuable insights brought to you by VV's biggest wealth and experts that will help you to make the best decisions possible.